Uh, Sam, in the long term, that must be a positive point as opposed to two points um, dropped. Yeah, I think it's a fair, fair reflection on, on the game and how the game went today. I think second half we maybe could have pushed on a bit more and, and got the second goal, but it's probably a fair reflection. I think it's a good point against a very strong team. Yeah, to be fair to you boys, you, QPR definitely made it difficult you, um, for you in defence with crosses coming in left, right and centre, but they seemed to mop up anything that came their way. Yeah, I think most teams that come to the KC are going to do that. They know we're, we're a good team and we've got good home form, so they're going to come in and try and frustrate us. I think QPR did that well today. I thought the only threat that they really had was on a set piece. And like to say, they scored from that. But after that, I think we were solid and we, we probably had the better chances. There was obviously the slight confusion, of course, Charlie Austin scoring. It only just went over the line. But um, what was the players' reaction to the goal being given? Do you feel, from a player's perspective, that there should be possibly goal line technology in the Championship? I didn't get, really get a chance to see if it went over the line. I was just going on what, what the lads were saying, but they, I don't think they were sure either, so I don't know how the linesman can see from where he was, but he obviously must have had a good view. But yeah, with goal line technology, I think I think, I think you should have it if, you can, if we can, but I think it just comes down to funding at the end of the day, and not every league is going to be able to afford it. But if we can, it would be great, and it would maybe save ourselves a goal there. Yeah. We've come through a very tough period, obviously three games against three very strong championship opponents, Brighton, Cardiff and QPR. Um, would you accept four points from three games or would the players and also the gaffer have expected more from these three fixtures? Um, I think we expect, expect a little bit more from ourselves. We know our away form hasn't been what we want it to be, our home form has been good, but we want to go to places like Bright, Brighton and we, we really want to stamp our authority on, on the league and we want to go there and, and get, get uh, good results. So that's disappointing, but we went to Cardiff and we played how we, how we wanted to. We got a good away, um, away three points there and hopefully we can do that and the rest of our away fixtures for the rest of the rest of the league. And of course, fixtures still come thick and fast. Got Swansea on Tuesday in the uh, League Cup. Um, do the boys believe that they can uh, really give it to Swansea and uh, drive on and hopefully get into the fourth round? Yeah, we're at home, so I don't see why not. We've got a good, we've got a good strong team. If we go out there and play the football we know, we, we, we can. We, there's no reason why we can't come away and get into the next round. Do you reckon there'll be any rotation from the manager in that fixture? There may be, because it's, like I say, it's been, a, it's been a tough few weeks with Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Obviously, some of the older players might, not be, might, might get rested by the gaffer and a couple of the young lads might come in. The likes of Greg Lewer, who's, who's been in good form in the League Cup, might, might get a chance. But that's down to the gaffer and we'll, we'll see come Tuesday.